Hi IST Superstars, this is Mrs. Bedwell here and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to add audio to your animations. So I have a copy of the bouncing ball tutorial here in front of us. Um, you've already seen this before. So there's two different types of audio you can add. You can add sound effects and um, Flash already have a whole library of those, or you can add a .wav file, .aif, or an mp3 file. So first of all, I'll show you the sound effects. So if you go to Window, Common Libraries, Sounds, and I'll bring up this small little window here. There's a whole bunch of different sounds, so you click on them, it tells you what they are by name, you can press this play button and it gives you a sample. So what I'm looking for, because this animation is a bouncing ball, I might just search for ball and see what pops up. There's quite a few. So let's just try this one here, play. Okay, a simple bounce. Okay, so to be able to add that file, um, what you need to do is you need to insert it onto a keyframe. Now you can't use the layer that has the motion tween, um, but you can use the background layer because it doesn't have any tweens applied to it. So I'm just going to add a new keyframe into my background layer and I'm going to click on the sports basketball catch, click and drag onto my stage and then you'll see here that it now appears in my library so if i play that it should look like this okay so if we see there the bounce the sound effect for the bounce is not quite in line there so i just need to adjust it so um we'll just move it a little bit closer so we know at this keyframe here that that's where well, the bounce actually happens about there. Okay, so if we move our sound effect to be around there, let's try that now. Oh, we're very close. Oh, almost there. Okay, so let's just check the playhead here. Is there? Okay, that's about right. So that's how we need sound effects. Obviously, the sound effects that are in the library have a certain length to them already. So depending on the animation will depend if you can use them or not. You can always repeat them as well. Okay, so that's sound effects. I'm just going to go back and delete all that. I'm going to show you how to add in an MP3 file. So, um, what you need to do is you need to import so you'll be for your animations um, for your assessment you'll be using a whole entire song um, which you'll need to get a copy of so import import to library and this is the only mp3 file i have on my computer i know that's hard to believe so i'm just going to add that and while that's importing, once it has imported, um, it will appear in your library. You would have noticed before too that you saw the sound wave um, appear in the layer, so then you know that it has been applied properly. Okay, so now it's sitting, my MP3 file is sitting in my library. It's a copy, it's not a song, so it's not really up and down, it's just people talking. So that's why the sound wave appears like that. So I want to add it from the beginning of my animation. So the beginning keyframe on my background. So click, hold and drag over. And you'll see here the bottom that my sound wave is going all the way across. It's about a 25 minute MP3 file. Okay, so again, you're going to be doing a song which should average about three minutes so you want to have enough animation to cover that if you can so to test that out control enter
Okay, so you can see that the music started straight away as the animation did. Um, so that's two ways to add sound files.